Hi everybody, my name is Glenn van der Beek. I'm a landscape photographer from Belgium and I make little videos about my little adventures in my little country. Today we are in Bouillon and we're gonna check out the Belvedere by sunrise. It's gonna be amazing. Let's go. Here we have a little sneak peek of uh, the little city, Bouillon. It's covered in the fog. Just look at it. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> I am excited. This was just the first level and we still have two more levels to go. So we have been shooting for 20 minutes here at the Belvedere of Bouillon and it's uh, one of those locations uh, whenever you have the perfect conditions uh, every corner you look of the landscape well every corner of it is uh, photogenic. So I started with a wide angle shot but now I'm using my telephoto just to uh, isolate some of the subjects in within the landscape. For now I'm focusing on a single house on the hills um, that is surrounded by the fog. My settings are f8 one fifty of, of a second ISO 100. The valley is filled with fog while the peaks of the Ardennes are in the beautiful morning sunlight so it's just incredible. Matthias just ma made a time lapse of the, the fog in the valley. It took around 25 minutes. Yeah, it took around 25 minutes. And how, how many pictures did you take? Uh, 50. 50. 50. 50 pictures, 25 minutes, and we have one second of time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> but we can slow it down, so we have two seconds. Yay! <laughs> For those who are interested, Matthias will explain how to make a time-lapse video. You can do it with any new brand of camera. Matthias is a Nikon boy, so he will explain it on Nikon. First you have to go to the menu, and then to the photo shooting menu. Then you have two options to make your uh, time-lapse. The first one is the interval timer shooting. This one is the manual mode. Uh, the camera will take pictures at the time interval, but it will not stitch them together automa automatically. You have to do it in post-production. The, the second one is the time-lapse smoothie. The difference with the inter interval timer shooting is it will stitch them together, so you don't have to do it in post-production. The disadvantage from this is that you don't have to control from post-production to differentiate your uh, lighting conditions or something else you want to adjust so then you have to choose now we will choose for the time-lapse movie like i did this morning sometimes you will get an error if you push on start like now it means you have to put your lens on manual mode so we will ha we will do that now it, it's on a manual mode so we can start the time lapse but first i will explain some other um, settings the first one is the interval. Now it stands on 30 seconds, so every 30 seconds it will take a picture. The second one is the shooting time. Now we will take pictures for 25 minutes every 30 seconds. <laughs> So that was only one, t uh, one uh, way to do a quick time lapse. Thank you, Matthias, for sharing your no knowledge. Uh, Matthias is, by the way, a graduating student of Narafi High School of High School High School of uh, High School of uh, Yeah. How do you say it? Narafi. Narafi is a high school in based in Brussels, Belgium. Yeah.
and he's a graduating student. Uh, he's now uh, doing some internship uh, with me. I share some knowledge with him. And now it's uh, good to see that uh, you are already sharing your knowledge as well yes, to my uh, audience. It's very nice to yeah. uh, to share my knowledge with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I might. <laughs> yeah, that's better. That's better. Yeah. So, if you enjoyed this little video about my little adventure in my little country. Consider subscribing, give this video a like, share it with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!